right, so this is maiden attempt number two, the first time we had radio failure. Don't know if it's gonna flip over, sink, or sail. We'll find out. So I got this crazy idea to build a cruising catamaran and go sailing when I retire. A few years ago, I started drawing boat designs in CAD. And I like to use the agile approach, so I decided to build some models to refine the design before I actually built the full size boat. This is the first model that I built. Um, I built this a couple years ago. Uh, and the object of this was just to see if I could uh, cut out flat panels. I built the second model. And um, that's because I, the, the break was I, I needed to find a CNC machine. And what got me started again was I stumbled upon uh, this 3D printed CNC machine, which I'll show you the video of. Um, and the 3D printed CNC machine, I was able to um, very inexpensively uh, build the next model. Model three was the biggest model, and this is all that came of it. I had it partially assembled, and then I took it apart. Fourth model. This is the first one to actually get completed. Woo. So this guy was built with the same method. Um, I did notch the ends of the panels, uh, as opposed to um, as opposed to the middles. Middle. So I was able to build this entire thing and assemble it without um, basically any measuring tape, any jig or anything. You would just pop it together and line up the tabs. Um, things that I learned from this uh, is number one, it, it was too heavy still. Um, this, this thing, if it to scale, it would weigh about 40,000 pounds. I need to, my boat should be more around the lines of 16 to 18, maybe 20,000 max. So twice as heavy as it should be. And it seems like a lot, but when you're building a scale model, it's uh, 8,000, so this is a, a 1 20th scale. It's 8,000 times uh, for the weight because it's uh, 20 cubed because you have height, width, and length. Uh, and, and so one ounce uh, of extra weight, which is easy to add an ounce of epoxy, right? Uh, an ounce of epoxy, uh, that's 500 pounds. And so it's really easy to go overweight. Rudders on that servo. And then the way the sails work, they're on a winch. So as, as you release it, they um, they go out, and if you pull the pull those in, it pulls them in tighter. The wind will blow them out, and then it works fine for the other side too. Just the wind blows it to the correct side. Well, the model sails. I wanted to cover, while well, you can watch a few videos of it sailing here, I wanted to cover how the process went for actually building the, the boat. The first thing I do is I um, build flat panels, and so that's done by um, laminating. For this one, I use three uh, layers of glass. Then I would put it in the vacuum bag system, and then after it's finished vacuum bag, you take off all the disposables uh, that you use to vacuum pack it, and uh, you got a finalized panel. So the next step is to uh, CNC route the panels, the flat panels, into the right shape. And this was an early version of some of the, I think this is the first or the second model uh, that I was routing. And so you can see that I route and pull the, the panels off. It takes a couple panels to build a boat of this size. And then once you have the panels done, um, you just basically assemble it. I, my initial assembly was hot glue, but that's part of what made it too heavy. Um, but you just pop the panels together. Here I have them tacked up with tape. And then after that, I put um, cut little strips of fiberglass and um, use epoxy and seal them up. Um, then finally after that, you can paint it and put the rig on. So the, the rig that I got, the mast and the sails, came from a racing model hole series that they have, the Dragon Force 65. Um, and they're probably a little oversized for this, but it doesn't hurt because it's so heavy. It took quite a bit of time to adapt the sails to work with this as well as figuring out how the um, 
the servos should work uh, for the remote control, but overall it works pretty good and it sails. Uh, not as well as I'd like, but um, it certainly sails. You can see it's kind of drifting sideways here until I get some uh, momentum up and then uh, away it sails. So um, my next projects is I'm going to build a, a slightly bigger version, hopefully get the weight uh, down a bit, and then I'll put this, this rig probably onto that version. The other things that I have in the works is I'm building some epoxy pumps. And so then uh, instead of mixing the epoxy manually, which takes a lot of time, it will actually um, t take and pump out the correct amounts and mix it for you. So we'll see how that works. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and let me know in the comments if you want me to make more of these. Thanks a lot.